Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Oakland Athletics versus the Seattle Pilots at Six Stadium. On the mound for the A's today is Jim Catfish Hunter, whose record is 2-2 two two with a 351 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots today is Gene Brabender whose record is 1-0 with a 0 ERA. And so we lost our second game in a row, and uh, we were up 2-0. All, all people, Ray Euler hit a two-run home run, and I thought, okay, this is going to be one of those games where we'll uh, you know, put some runs up early and hold on for the victory, but it wasn't meant to be. We had multiple... Uh, walks, multiple wild pitches. There was an error in there uh, by Euler, of all people. And the next thing you knew, we were down and uh, out for the count. So, uh, yeah, we just weren't able to come back. It was a real bummer. Uh, we did have a day off, as you can see here. We've already played it and advanced uh, to today's game. And so let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. We have ourselves Gene Brabender uh, starting in his last start. Brabender almost threw a no-hitter. He gave up a hit in the eighth inning, uh, and then there was an error that followed that. We ended up pulling him from the ball game. So in his first start, he did th almost throw a no-hitter. Kind of impressive. As you can see here, all of the bullpen is available with the day off yesterday. And then we have our lineup for t uh, today's game versus Catfish Hunter. We got Steve Hovley back in there in center field. Van Kelly's back at second. Uh, this is our lineup that we have uh, versus right-handers. Okay, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Oakland Athletics. Betting leadoff in... And playing center field is Rick Monday. Batting second and catching is Gene Tennis. Batting third in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting cleanup in right field is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth at third base is Sal Bando. Batting sixth at first base is Danny Cater. Batting seventh at second base is John Donaldson. Batting 8th at shortstop is Bert Campanaris. And batting ninth is the pitcher Jim Hunter. Okay, let's take a look at Gene Brabender. As I mentioned, he had that awesome start last time out. This is his second start of the season. 1-0. He has not given up a run in 16 and a third innings pitch. In fact, uh, he's actually struck out 14. Uh, his opponents are batting 113 against him. His fastball tops out at 87 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47%. His best pitch is the slider, and he's got a good uh, sinker as well. Overall, rated an 82. The 27-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the season. Here is our defense for today. Everybody oh, where they belong. And... Uh, our only defensive liability is Harp, uh, Harper out there in right field. Yeah. So, okay, let's go ahead and get today's game started. Gene Brabender facing lefty Rick Monday. Monday batting 273 with a home run. And he walks it. Oh, no. oh, the old leadoff walk. Of all the teams that we've played this year, every single one, with the exception of the White Sox, had been in first place when we played them. And uh, today's no different. We're tied for first with the Oakland A's. Here's Gene Tennis, a base at the center field. And uh, this is where Brabender's going to get absolutely uh, brutalized today. Uh, he hasn't given up a run all year, so you know he's got to get that ERA up to the three or four range. So I'm predicting this is going to be a really, really terrible game. Uh, here is uh, Tommy Reynolds, left fielder, betting 262 with a home run. A pass ball. Okay, so we've got a pass ball. We've got a walk. Let's see what comes up next here. 
Uh, strikeout down the middle. So the A's get on the board. Tennis is on second with one out. And here's Reggie Jackson, who does not have any home runs. He, his power is 94, so he's certainly capable of hitting home runs. So no home runs in 16 games. And last year he had 29 home runs uh, for the whole season. So uh, you would think that the game's uh, build would come off of that uh, rookie year. But I guess we'll find out here if uh, Reggie's going to put up some big numbers for the A's. There's a ground ball to third. That will hold tennis for the second out. That will bring up Sal Bando. You know his brother, Chris Bando. We've seen a lot of him uh, for the Indians in our Tigers replay series. We call him the Bandalorian. There's a line drive by Sal Bando in the left field, and there's out number three. So we do limit it. Uh, limit the damage to one run and we go to the bottom of the first. So let's go ahead and do the Pilots lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in right field is Tommy Harper. Batting second at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting third in left field is Tommy Agee. Batting cleanup and catching is Jerry McNertney. Batting fifth at first base is Mike Hegan. Batting 6th in center field is Steve Hovley. Batting 7th at second base is Van Kelly. Batting 8th at shortstop is Fred Stanley. And batting ninth in pitching is Gene Brabender. Let's take a look at Jim Catfish Hunter. He's only 23 years old in this game. And he's already got 45 career victories. He's 2-2 two two with a 3.51 ERA, 20 Ks. And 25 and two third innings pitch. The points are betting 237 against him. Look at the career consistency here it, with opponents' batting average. Uh, his fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 51.4%. He's got four pitches in his arsenal, the fastball being the best one. It's rated a 96. Overall, rated an 88 and a peak of a 93. The 23-year-old righty will go to arbitration at the end of the year. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Oakland A's. Pretty solid everywhere except for behind the plate with uh, Gene Tennis. He kind of played a little bit uh, everywhere in the infield in real life. First base, third base, played some outfield. Uh, his arm rating is a 70, so... Uh, Potentially a guy that we can steal on if we can get on base today. Here we go, Tommy Harper. We're down a run. Let's get things cooking here. Harper popping it up to third. Sal Bando, great defensive third baseman, makes the catch. One out. Next man up is Rich Rollins. Rollins walks. He, <coughs> he is not a guy that I would... Uh, Send to steal second. So we're gonna we're gonna hold him. Let Ag take a cut and a base hit through the right side of the infield. Rollins has to hold at second. It was hit so hard and got to Reggie out there pretty quickly. So first and second. One down. Here's Jerry McNerney. Been quiet of late. Ground ball to short. That should be two. It is. 6-4-3, double play. And we got to remember that one because uh, I have a feeling we won't be scoring any runs, and that was a missed opportunity. We go to the top of the second inning. Here is Danny Cater. Everybody on the uh, A's all have flat tops. Here's Danny Cater leading the team with four home runs, batting 321. Broadbender leaves it up high, and a ground ball to Rollins makes some easy work of it. One down. Here is the left-handed bat of John Donaldson. Second baseman batting 200, and he gets a base hit into right. Second hit for the A's today. Runner on first for Campy, Burt Campanaris. We're going to play... Straight away here. 
And a base hit. Oh, man. Come on. First and second, one out. And the pitcher at the plate. Wait. I can't bring the infield in? I can only bring the corners in. Okay. I mean, we could do the wheel play here. Um, which means that ground ball to first would go to third. But, oh, I don't know. We're just going to bring the corners in. Okay, here we go. First and second. One down. Is he going to lay down a bunt? No, he's taking a cut and striking out. So we go to the back to the top of the lineup with Rick Monday. Rick Monday, of course, is the first player ever chosen in the draft. Drafted by the Royals in the first round of the 1965 draft. It says Royals. Of course, it's not the Royals. It's the Kansas City A's. But, um, yep, first overall pick ever. First and second, two down. Full count. And he walks him. Oh, this is so brutal. Base is loaded. And, you know, technically with that error, uh, or the pass ball, I should say, um, that run that he gave up was unearned. So he's yet to give up an earned run. Maybe that's going to change right here with Gene Tennis. Base is loaded. Strikes him out. Two-seam fastball right down the pipe. We go to the bottom of the second inning. We're down a run. Mike Hegan leading off. Hegan averaged down to 215. We dropped him in the lineup. Doesn't even take the bat off his shoulder. There's one down. Here's Steve Hovley. Hovley struggling. And there we go. He cranks it into left center field all the way to the wall for a double. Good job by Hovley. That is his second double of the season of his career. Let's see if Van Kelly can do something productive here. Kelly betting 219. Base hit the left. Will Hovley score? He's got good speed. He does come around to score. We're going to hold Kelly. And we're all tied at one. Nicely done. So, no shutout today. Maybe that streak is done for a while. Here's Fred Stanley. We dropped him back down to the eighth spot. We tried to get, make him a, a hitter at the top of the lineup. Uh, actually, in the second spot, but he, he just couldn't get it done. So, uh, All right, so two down. Kelly on first. We're going to let Brabender just take a cut here. It's 0 for 5 on the year. 0 for 6. We're going to the top of the third, all tied up on the Kelly RBI. Tommy Reynolds will lead off the third. A comebacker to Brabender. There's out number one. Brabender at 45 pitches already. One out for Red Jay. Oh, man, that was in his sweet spot. He just missed it. It's a ground ball to second. Look where that pitch was. Reggie would uppercut that baby right into the right out of the stadium like he did at Tiger Stadium. Okay, two down. Here's Sal Bando. And Bando pops it up into the shallow right field grass for out number three. So a good one, two, three inning here. And it looks like we might uh, have a handle on things. There's a ground ball that gets past Bando for a base hit. Harper on first. I think we got to send him here. 79% chance. Everybody in the park knows he's going. They're going to pitch out. No, curveball. And it is a strike. Harper steals second base. So now he's four for eight on the year. He had that game early on uh, where we, <laughs> we hit, set him four times in a game. And he was one for three for it in that game so that kind of uh, put him behind the eight ball here so we have the runner on second in scoring position for Rich Rollins 0-2 count to Rollins a ground ball to short Harper 
while I was going on the play, that is a shocker. And they're going to pull the infield in. That's a smart move. We're going to ask AG to get a sack fly here. Strikes out a lot. Um, let's see how he does in the situation. Can intentionally walk him? No. No, they did not intentionally walk him. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, they weren't even close to the strike zone on four straight pitches. So now we can't hit and run with McNurtney. Um, we can steal second, though, to stay out of the double play. And I think we're obligated to doing that. Otherwise, McNurtney will hit into another double play. All right, here we go. Let's uh, send AG here. 94% right down the middle. And he steals second base. So AG has four stolen bases. I think he's four for four. Four for five. Okay. So now we're out of the double play. And let's see if McNurtney can get it to the outfield. Some good arms out there. Fly ball to the left. I don't, is that going to be deep enough? 305 feet. Harper will score easily. And the Pilots take the lead. AG advances to third. It's two to one with Mike Hegan up. I want to show you this real quick. Mike Hegan, of all people, has struck out 23 times in 16 games. That's why I, I took him out of the number two spot. Um, so Hegan, despite his awesome defensive uh, play at first base, strikes out. He's one of those guys that might be a liability otherwise. So we do take the lead. We head to the top of the fourth. Danny Cater leading off. Gene Brabender is uh, kind of in a groove. As Cater flips it to right, and it will be caught by Harper. Out number one. John Donaldson up next. 0-1 count to Donaldson. A ground ball up the middle. Good range from Kelly. Making the play. Two outs. That'll leave it up to Campy to get something going. And Campaneris pops it up to third. Rollins makes the play. So back-to-back -back innings for Brabender that were 1-2-3. You go to the bottom of the fourth. Steve Hovley leading off. Hovley, he had that double. Scored the first run. Comebacker to Hunter. One down. Here's Van Kelly. He had the uh, first RBI. That single. And he's safe on an error by his second base counterpart. Donaldson boots it. And Kelly's safe. Um, man, I feel like... Oh, I just kind of want to sacrifice Bunt to get Kelly over, but with the pitcher, it's kind of a waste. we got to let Stanley at least try to make some contact. It's a pop-up in the foul ground on the third base side. Bando makes the catch. And here's Brabender. All we can do is let him swing. Well, he gets some good wood on it into left center field. Hangs up in the air long enough for the catch to be made by Tommy Reynolds. We are going to the fifth inning. Two to one, Seattle. Catfish Hunter leading off. We're going to pull the third baseman in. I don't think he'll lay down a bunt, but perhaps. Oh, I guess not. There's a double. For the pitcher. Second time we've seen the pitcher get a double. That is, of course, his first double of the year. Tenth of his career. That was really stupid. Okay, so runner on second. Here is Rick Monday. I mean, all we can do is let him pitch it. And there's the tie. So another double, and it's two to two. And there's the first earned run given up by Rob Ender. So back-to-back -back doubles. That's Monday's 
fifth double of the season. I guess it's taking a little bit longer for them to uh, tear a new one on Brabender, but now it's the wound is open and it's going to keep bleeding. Ground ball to second. Could have been a double play situation, but too, too slow of a roller. And the force has made it second. So one down for Reggie. Ground ball to second. <laughs> yeah. Of course not. Another force out at second. Two outs. And here's Bando, 0 for 2, and he strikes out looking. So, back-to-back -back doubles, followed by a single, and it is that quickly turned to a 3-2 lead for the A's. Tommy Harper leading off, striking out. Yeah, when that pass ball happened in the first inning, I mean, that is, that's the indicator that uh, you're definitely going to lose. Two quick outs for Hunter, who suddenly is unstoppable. We go to the top of the sixth inning. Well, some, we're going to throw uh, Brabender out there one more inning. Uh, he's, I don't know, uh, I think he's sort of a victim of circumstance here. And it's the bottom of the lineup after Cater has a base hit. Seven hits and two walks. against Brabender. John Donaldson pops it up to second. One out. Here's Campy striking out of the pitch. It's a foot outside. The Catfish Hunter's already got a hit today, so we can't just take him for granted. Ground ball up the middle. Good job by Brabender. That'll probably do it for him. We go to the bottom of the six, down a run. Here's Jerry McNurtney. Ground ball to third. Only four hits for the Pilots today. To go with a couple walks, and the uh, player was safe on an error. There's a hit for Hegan. No, no chance of getting a double out of that. Um, let's hit and run, despite... Hovely not being very good at it. But Hegan's got good speed. So if it's a swing and a miss, maybe Hegan will be safe. 0-1 count. Ground ball to second. At the very least, it gets Hegan into scoring position. For Kelly, who has already driven in a run today. Can Lightning strike twice? 0-2 count. And he pops it up. First baseman Danny Cater makes the catch. Okay, we're going to take out Brabender, uh, just shy of the century mark in pitches. Great job by him, though, uh, under the circumstances. And we're in the seventh inning, and we're going to have last at bat. So let's go ahead and bring in Jerry Stevenson. Last time out, I think he got rocked, right? Let's take a look at his log. Yeah, he gave up three runs on five hits and a walk in two innings versus the Salks. But he's been solid overall and a good innings eater. Maybe that's all we can get from him today. Here's Rick Monday leading off. Monday. Gets some good wood on it. Sends it to right center where Harper makes the grab. One out. That's going to bring up Gene Tennis. Tennis ropes it to left. Two outs. And Tommy Reynolds steps up with a base hit to right. Eight hits by the A's. And here is the ever dangerous Red J. Jackson. Oh, man. Nice screwball from Stevenson. And Jackson almost got it. Died right at the wall. 334 feet. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. 
Down a run, Catfish Hunter at 85 pitches. Here's Fred Stanley. Oh man, let's see. Stanley flies out. Um, if Stanley had got on, I would definitely pinch hit for Stevenson. Uh, and he's a 353 hitter in 1968. Is that right? That can't be right. Let's take a look at his batting. Six for 17. No extra base hits, only two walks. So, I mean, small sample size, but six hits and 17 at bats is pretty good for anybody. Um, I mean, I gotta, I have to pinch hit for him. We want to win the ball game. Uh, Steve Whitaker. He's already got one pinch hit home run this year. Let's see if he can get us at least get on base. Full count. Oh, he strikes out with a pitch that was borderline at best. That was a that was a well placed pitch for Catfish Hunter. That might have been our I feel like that was our last chance right there. Uh, as I say that, Harper gets a double down the line. We sent him. He does get the double. And that is our tying run at second, his second double of the season. Here's Rich Rollins. I don't feel like any of our players are clutch anymore. Like, we kind of got through that. And there's a base hit into left center field. Harper scores easily, and the game is tied at three. Rich Rollins, that's his second double of the year. That was clutch. Here's Tommy Agee now. That was a good risk that I took, uh, letting Harper go to second on that to get that double. It was 80%, and I was almost like, why bother? Because he's probably going to get thrown out. But it worked out. And then a base hit for A.G. to right. Rollins has to hold. Only, uh, well, it says 48 feet, which would have put it, like, right here. But we saw it go through. Got to check the XY coordinates of six stadium. First and third. And we just have to let Jerry McNerty take a cut. He is struggling. 0-1 count, and he sends it to right all the way to the wall. The game is tied. Uh, do we replace Harper with Whitaker? I guess if we'd taken the lead, I would have, but I guess we're going to have to leave Harper in there. Okay, it's time for Diego Segui. He's our right-handed setup guy. Eighth game, 1-0, 422 ERA. Seven walks and seven strikeouts in 10 and two-third innings. He does have a save. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. He is a fly ball pitcher 61% of the time. His fork ball is his best pitch, rated a 76 to 31-year-old variety. Goes to free agency in 71 Okay, Sal Bando leading off. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Bando 0 for 3 with a strikeout today. Here we go. Base it. Bando on first. We're going to guard the lines. Here's Danny Cater. This is a double play possibility. Ground ball up the middle. There he goes. Turn two. Yes. Great job by Stanley. Starting the double play. So two down then for John Donaldson. One for three today. Ground ball to Kelly at second. And an error. Will Donaldson be running here? I would absolutely be sending him. Campy is a hit-and-run guy, but there's two outs. 
So you almost have to get that runner in the scoring position. Will there be a wild pitch or a pass ball? Full count. Oh, it's an intentional. Yeah, it's a walk. So that was definitely always going to happen to get to the pitcher. And then they're going to pinch hit for Jose Morales. So this is a done deal here. We don't have the option of pulling the outfield in anymore. So you just have to take it. One, two count. And he strikes him out. Great job. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We're going to bring in the left-hander, Paul Lindblad. Lindblad. That is a tough name to spell. Uh, this is his fifth game, 0-1, 579 ERA. Four walks, four Ks, in four and two-third innings. Opponents are betting 263. He does have a blown save. Not much of a fastball. Uh, topping out at 86 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 50.2%. He's only got two pitches, and it's a sinker and a changeup. Both are reasonable. Overall, rated in 80, the 27-year-old lefty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. Okay, we only get to let Mike Hegan bat here. It's all lefty, so this is a good call uh, by Oakland's coach. A tapper. Back to Lindblad, who throws it away. And Hegan is standing on second. Okay, so Hovley coming out for the pinch hitter, Wayne Comer. And he did not bat well versus lefties last year. But we have faith in him here. Uh, let's go ahead and let him just take a cut. Ground ball up the middle. Snagged by the shortstop, and he can advance. That is so weird that that happens twice in a ball game. Okay. Infield in. I think we have to pinch it for Kelly. It's going to be uh, Danny Walton, and then we will bring in uh, Euler or Lund. Danny Walton, we need a sack fly, Danny. Here we go. Anywhere in the outfield should score a run. 0 oh, 1 count. Fly drive, base hit. Hegan scores. Danny Walton drives in the go ahead run. Take a look at Danny Walton. He's three for nine in all pinch hitting spots. Pretty good. So runner on first. I guess we could put Danny Walton in right field too. So that's going to work out. Okay, here we go. Um, Fred Stanley, sacrifice bunt. Pitcher's up next. There's a good bunt to third. Walton does advance. Sagi coming out for El Gordo, who's not a good hitter. But he's going to come in defensively anyway. A base hit here would give us a nice cushion. 0-1. Fly ball into left field. Let's get down. It will be caught. All right. Use on defense. Let's, let's figure this out. So Danny Walton will go to right. Harper will go to the pitcher position. Gordy Lund is better at short than Fred Stanley. So we're going to put Gordy El Gordo at shortstop, and Fred Stanley will go to second. He's not great there, but he's the best option we have. And then we need a pitcher, which will be our closer, Mike Marshall, coming into the ballgame. I never would have thought we'd be in a position to win. But here we are, taking a look at Mike Marshall. He's got three saves. He's three for four. Uh, not a great ERA. And uh, four Ks in seven innings, but he's only walked one. That makes me feel good. 
Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. It's rated an 84. Currently rated a 78 overall. The 26-year-old righty goes to arbitration next year. Let's take a look at the defense. We're looking all right. I know it's not great at second, but we, we, we start Stanley there all the time. So Here's Rick Monday leading off against Mike Marshall. This will tell us a lot right here. 2-2 two, two count. Base hit. Yeah, so this is going to go down rough like a old granddad whiskey that I sometimes like to drink. Gene Tennis strikes out. We have to guard the lines now with one out. Try to prevent um, an extra base hit. Wow, I didn't even notice, but not that great in right field. It is an improvement with Walton out there, but not by much. So that's a liability I did not consider. There's another base hit. And Reggie's up. One swing of the bat from Reggie, and this game is toast. I would love to get a double play here. First pitch swinging, and a comebacker to Marshall. Marshall goes to second to get a force, and the tying run is 90 feet away for Sal Bando, who's one for four at the strikeout today. Runner on first and third if Reggie wants second base. I'll give it to him. We need to go after Bando. This is the ball game right here. First pitch swinging. And a blooper into left center field. And it's tied at four. Ground ball to short. And Mike Marshall's the first guy up. And we don't have anybody else to pinch hit. Another blown save. I guess Freddy Velasquez? I mean, we really actually have to pinch hit. Wait, no, Velasquez has good speed, right? 74 speed. If he were to get on. Either, either better... <laughs> Getting on would be an absolute miracle. Um, but we do know that Ray Euler can go deep. So I think we have to let Euler <laughs> pinch hit for the second time this year. I know Sean is losing his mind. Here we go. I think we got to do it. And that is the expected result. One down. Here's Rich Rollins. There's a walk. Tommy Agee. Round the horn. Well, Agee beats it out. You've got to send him. This is a left-hander on the mound. Can we get another stolen base? Yes, we do. Five stolen bases for Agee, and he is... The winning run at second base for McNertney. Here we go. Oh, they intentionally walk him. Oh, that makes sense. Get to the lefty. We've got nobody on the bench other than Freddy Velasquez, which I think we need to save him in case we need to pinch hit one more time. And Mike Keegan is a professional batter. He does have a double today. Ripped into right, and it is caught. And we have free baseball. Oh, shit. Well, it's never boring. We're going to move him to second. Take out Fred Stanley. And we need a pitcher. Jack Acker. Well, we got two lefties coming up. I think I trust Ron Locke a lot more than I trust John Morris. So Ron Locke will come in. We have two out of three batters lefty. 
Um, I'm sure they'll pinch it for Lindblad, Lindblad, but then um, Monday's up as a left-hander as well. So I th think we'll just hedge our bets here with Ron Locke. <sighs> All right, uh, here we go. Uh, you know, I wonder one thing real quick, Walton. Walton is a 77 in left. Can AG play right? Oh, he can. So that would be the better defensive alignment. Have those two switch. And we, get, we shall do that. There we go. So that's a, even more of a step up. Okay, here we go. John Donaldson leading off against Ron. Lockdown. Fly ball to right. AG on his horse. Wow, that was closer than I thought it would be. At the fence for out number one. Here's Campy. He walks, of course. And there will be a right-handed pinch hitter coming up. Mike Hirschberger. Runner on first. Oh, he's got a ton of speed. But we do have a lefty on the mound. And we do need to guard the lines. Here we go. There's your stolen base. So no more double play. The base hit will score the run and give him the lead. So all you can do, there it is. That's the ball game. Let's just get it over with. <laughs> all right. We'll bring in Jack Acker. Six to four. There's a three run home run. Nine to four. Reggie grounds out. Bando lines up. Gil Blanco comes in. Comer walks. Walton grounds out. Taking out Acker for Velazquez. Everybody's getting into the game. And there's your ball game. We lose nine to four. Five runs in the tenth. That was a war of attrition. I mean, the better team won. Um, our bullpen, you know, is just not going to hang in there. We missed some opportunities, and it came back to bite us. So we are now three games uh, in a row that we've lost a game back, and we are falling back to where we belong. Um, let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Carmen Fanzone sparked the Red Sox offense. Two homers for Blanco, Ozzy Blanco. Um, win over Baltimore puts the Yankees in the lead. And there's our game from today. Let's pull up the, no, I'm sorry, transactions. What do we have here? Wally Bunker for the Royals. It's going to miss four days. Okay, pull up the box score and get out of here. Big loss. 9-4, to four. player of the game. Could be anybody, should be nobody. Um, oh, man. I mean, Tommy Harper had two hits, scored two runs. He had a stolen base. Tommy Ag went two for four, and he had two stolen bases and a walk. So there's your... Player of the game. Rob Ender, uh, he was never going to perform well today. And the bullpen absolutely got rocked. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I, 
I want to say that the blown save by Marshall could have been prevented, but it was just never not going to happen. So that's the way it goes. Um, all right. So we're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great day.